welcome back to our Bonga news of today i told you in my other video that i'm going to be giving you the full video of the protest by the uh, apc supporter but before then just take a quick look at a short um video of the au oh, i'm afraid this election has been so poor that we have no further interest in democratic governance or rule of law in nigeria uh and, and I think that would be a dangerous thing, and I've outlined my concerns generally that we are in a period of democratic recession across the world. Just 6% of people in the world live in free countries, according to um, uh, the, the Democracy Index published by Freedom House. So the time for investing in election monitoring is even more profound and more urgent, in my opinion. Yay! This verdict is really strong. I bet Muna watched the reaction from APC supporters. Anna Lillian, I'm a patriotic Nigerian, patriotic in the real sense of it. As you can see, I have with me thousands of other patriotic Nigerians who have come specifically to raise concern about the presentation and of course the report of the European Union concerning the just concluded election. We have come to register unequivocally that we are not satisfied with the report of the European Union. As a matter of fact, we are of the opinion that the, re the report is not just ridiculous, but an, a deliberate act to slight the Nigerian entity. And of course, by implication, our leaders and the government of Nigeria. We are all Nigerians here. We are all here during the just concluded election. But before I proceed further, I would like to say to you very clearly, crystal clear, that there is no election in the world that is devoid of crises and hitches. Every election in the world, both in the United States of America, both in the Great Britain, both in Ireland, and even the European Union countries, every election comes with their peculiar problems. Nigeria is not an exception. Yes, we are aware that the world is a global village. Therefore, people from different parts of the world converge in various countries during elections to monitor, observe, and of course, make presentations like the EU has done. But what we find unwant, or I mean, un unnecessary, what we find not worthy is the manner in which the, rep I mean, the report was made and of course the presentation was made. The election that was just concluded in Nigeria that produced one of the greatest men alive today in the person of His Excellency, distinguished Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu, was one of the most transparent elections in the history of Nigeria. We were taken aback when the report came and the media was awashed with reports of the European Union carefully and specifically saying that the election was fraudulent, that the election was fell short of the requirements of every credible election in the world. We don't know where that is coming from. If it is the election that we were all part of, that we all fought vigorously with our lives and everything that we have as patriots and well-being Nigerians, to ensure that the election held. If it is the same election that the European Union spoke about, that we read about, then it means that something is fishy somewhere. You will also agree with me that the report of the European Union is enough to trigger a national problem. It's enough to trigger a national chaos. Our security is at stake. Our security, security of lives and property is at stake. Our sovereignty is at stake. Our unity is at stake. Nigeria is the greatest country in Africa, the most populated country in Africa, and of course, the pride of the African continent. If the European Union is beginning to address our elections and of course, whatever is daring, the way they have presented this report, then we are scared. We are scared that it's not just going to affect Nigeria as a country, it's going to affect the whole of the African continent. We are striving to grow. We want to be first and second world countries. We want to be emerging countries. And we cannot grow in the speed that we want to grow with the kind of reports that we are getting from the, United, from the European Union. We are here to register our grievances. We are here to tell them that as a matter of urgency, they should withdraw their reports. And of course, 
come up with the reports that will be favorable to Nigeria, the report of what they saw. How, how on earth can just less than 50 people from the European Union come to Nigeria to observe an election where you have over 176,000 polling units and election centers and then they go to less than 1,000 polling units and electric, I mean, election centers and they draw conclusions. And I also want to send a clear signal to them. If there are people, if there are other Nigerians that they are using as scapegoats to send the wrong signal about our dear country, we want to tell them to desist from that immediately. Nigeria want to measure up with European Union countries. Nigeria want to be like the United States. Nigeria want to be like the Great Britain. Nigeria is striving seriously to be like every first and second world countries of the world. So we will not henceforth condone any false report. We will not henceforth condone any manipulated reports against our dear country. It has happened in the past. What we are seeing is new colonialism in these guys and we will not allow that. We want to be a sovereign country. We want to be an independent country. Independent in the true sense of it. We have a constitution that guides us. We have the constitution that sets the tone and the constitution is what we must work with and work by. Not by any you know, any speculations and fabrications and rumors from the international community. We are saying enough is enough. We have a president that is doing very well. We have a president that has started on the right footing. We have yes. the president that is doing what several presidents in Nigeria have not been able to do. All that we need at this point is to support him. Yes. He is our son. We are his children. He is our leader. We willingly voted for him. No man, no woman, no country compelled us to vote for him. It is our right to vote for the candidate of our choice. And that was exa exactly what we exhibited in the last election. Our election that we all witnessed was free to an extent, was free to a very large extent, almost 100% free. It was an election that was devoid of so many things that we used to, that we used to witness in the, in the past. Our, our I mean, democracy is growing, is growing at an accelerated rate, and we must want the international community to take cognizance of that. Instead of bringing out reports that they have fabricated, we will reject that and reject it vehemently. We want to let them know that never again, never again, never again the third time, should they intrude in our national affair? We understand the role they play. Yes, that is not out of place. But again, there comes a time when we have to stop. They should know when to stop and they should know when to continue. If there are no motives, why on earth should they take the reports of this election to the tribunal? Is that where a report should be received? No. There are procedures, they have procedures in their countries, but when they come to Nigeria, they act out of you know, protocol. They must begin to observe protocols, they must begin to respect our rule of law, they must begin to respect the Nigerian people. This is what we have come to say here in very clear terms today. We, have a we give you, we give you uh, assurance that your message will be passed on to the right quarters. Thank you very much for all of this. I appreciate it. Your name, sir. The man wanted to address us. No, okay. will, yeah, so yeah, thank you very much. Your message, so your message will be delivered. Thank you very much. We'll bring, we'll bring the, Is that all you have to say? What's your name? Of course, I will deliver we'll your message. message. I will deliver okay. your message. I will go to your transmit name, a letter to you. Thank you. Can you say you your name much. on the camera? So yes. Can get thank you. What is your name? Yes. Can right. we get your letter? Your name. Can, can we know? We didn't come here for camera. We came to get your message. Yeah, get That's the important thing. What? My people, now don't hear ba. Wahala de o. You know, say this is our country. We funny well well. Any issue where they favor on our, our party? Yes. You are doing well. But if you don't favor your party, you are not doing very well. The matter tire up. Uh, and we're not going to end this matter for this place. We need to discuss at the comment section. I bet Mona, don't forget to share this video. Share this video and let me hear your opinion. Let's talk detail about it because it's a very serious thing. An injustice done to one is an injustice done to all. In this country, like I said, if we are doing what is right, nobody will come and intimidate us. Guys, come to comment section. Let's talk about this issue. See you in my comment section. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.